Hi fam, my name is Kyra and Violet and welcome back to another Kyra Exiles video. Now this is not a playthrough guide today, this is just a straight out guide. And this will be about the recent stream that they've done on weapon oils, which is actually something to look very forward to. It might not be completely polished because we're in test live, but just remember this is something to look very forward to and it's reference for now. So what are these oils, how do you get them? So we're going to start off, we have oil of agony, balance, bounty, concussion and penetration. Now how might you get these oils you might ask? You want to come to this ghost looking dude, talk to him. As you can see here, purchase a memory of oils for 5 fragments of power. Click on that, gives you a message thing, little bit of paper and you can eat it, gives you weapon oils as a feat. You can double check that you've probably got this if you type in something like oil in the search bar. There you go, you have all the oils. Make sure you have the Fireball Cauldron learnt. This is all level 60 work, so it's level 60, no lower for these oils. Now, if you're wondering whereabouts you get the fragments, you actually get them in the Undead City, or you can get them from killing bosses. But one of the ways to get them is definitely in the Undead City, and it's in places such as these. Uh, actually the snake boss also, there's one near it, and the boxes will look exactly like this. You click on them, they disappear, they give you a fragment. It's probably one of the easiest ways to get the fragments. Um, it's either that or doing this kind of thing. So one of the things in the Undead City I know for 100% will always drop a fragment of power is this dragon right here, the Red Mother. So there you go, she drops a fragment of power as well and some other nice bits. She's fairly easy to kill because you can kind of cheese her. But if you want to do it legit, then you know, um, there's that. But, that's a good way to get fragments of power, and that, the two places I went for the ones you saw were in the aviary, and right here is the uh, boss, so, that's that. There's also quite an easy boss around here, this little burning area, he's praising a fire. You kill him, he will also give you a fragment of power, and I think the really nice part on him is also that repair kit is also really, really nice. So you can find that around about oh, right, right here actually, it's right next to the place you need to go, so that's an easy fragment of power right there. Um, just bear in mind the skeletons are a bit harder than other things because you cannot bleed them. So once you've got your five fragments of power, what you're going to want to do is you want to come right over into this area until you find this door right here. So that's a quick math reference, it's right here. And you're going to want to run down here and meet the dude. Alright, so we're going to try some of these swords out with the oils on them. And I'm going to be trying out the new short swords they have. And an obsidian pick. Things that you will have at level 60 pretty much. So first we're going to have the bounty one. We're going to shove that right on our pick. That's a 5 minute jobby right there. And I'll have a normal one as comparison. Oil of penetration. So this oil pretty much, you know, armor penetration, uh, oil of concussion, this will, actually I'm going to save that for a stun bat, um, oil of balance, we'll put that on that sword, oil of agony, weapon damage increase, so we got that sword, let me just get a stun bat out. Here we go, normal steel trungeon, I'm going to stick the concussive oil on there. So if you see all my normal swords, all the damage ones, 9 minutes 45, harvesting 5 minutes 25, and the concussion one is 3 minutes 45. Um, so let's first have a go, I think, with the special. This is the normal one, okay. Um, one smack, two smack, that's nine stone per smack. Now we're going to try with the oil, and you'll notice as soon as I get this, the oil um, time will start ticking down as I'm using it. So we smack it. 18 that is double the amount of yield i get out of a normal pick that is bloody good stuff i mean five minutes of farming pick a good metal spot you're gonna have a bunch so actually i i actually really like that um i'll show you the crafting cost in a minute so you can kind of compare if it's going to be worth it for you or not but first we're going to have a tester okay here you can see i have my team of janosses <laughs> the janos circle we're going to try our swords on them. So first, I'm going to... This is Janos 1. <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, that, that was a fail. Actually, you know what? I'm going to target him. Actually, no, I can't target him. I'm going to hit him with a short sword with nothing on it. That's taken that amount of HP out of him just with one 
one little stabby stab. Now I'm going to stab Janos T with my other short sword that I have. And this one has the penetrative oil on it. So that is, you know, armor penetration. So now we're going to try and have a stab at Janos the second. That's one stab at Janos the second. There's your damage. Now we're going to try our next oil. This is the oil of balance. Increases stamina cost of the weapon. For this, I'm actually going to have to turn off my no sprint cost. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. With the balance sword. That's actually pretty good now that I'm looking at it properly with a full combination. You can't really tell without it. But anyway, we're going to move on to our next potion, which is the green one. That is the oil of agony. Ooh. This show up my attributes? No, it doesn't. That's actually my armor. So we're going to go and hit Janos. Fourth, I think. Yeah, here. Hello, Janos. Stab him. <laughs> Sorry, Janos. <laughs> and there we go. So actually, I'm probably going to try a full combo. I'm uh, actually going to try you over the heavy. One, two, three, four. That's four shots. With that special damage one. Now I try four shots on you. Sorry guys, I'm just beating the crap out of you now. It helps if I actually hit you as well. Very cone damage. I like it. Three, four. There we go. Eventually got him. <laughs> yeah, that's actually significantly less than Janos over here. And then we're going to have our Steel Trungeon. I actually have to go over and meet a very nice towns person for that. Because this is not going to really affect the Janos squad. <laughs> You're gonna do actually. Two hits! <laughs> okay, okay. So that was a Steigen T Alchemist. Hang on, hang on. Yo, that that is pretty good, right? You're gonna tier three fire, that's what's gonna matter here. That's one, two, three, four, five. So a tier 4 is probably going to take you roughly about 7 hits, roughly, or a little bit more depending on uh, what you're doing. I'm doing the heavy combo as well if that helps. Let me see if I can find another T3 buddy. Oh, ah, here we go, here's another one. Let me just, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 hits with a normal. So, for the three minutes it is, and it stops as soon as you put it away, seven hits. That's bloody good. Now you're probably wondering what it takes to make such a exquisite batch of oil. <laughs> So we're going to start with, off with Agony. They are quite pricey because they are all fragment of power costing. You need five per one, pretty much, yeah. Five fragments of power per one of these oils. They're all the same price at the moment. But that is how you're going to obtain these oils. And if you ask me, and if you do enough farming on mini bosses, this is probably going to be a worth it price for you. The only bone to pick, the penetration one's probably only really going to be useful for you in PvP. Didn't find it made much of an effect on PvE standards, so I probably wouldn't really make the penetration one unless they're going to alter it before it's released. Do remember this is test live and not fish. Oil of Bounty. Definitely, for me, this is this is worth it. <laughs> Double the amount. Double the amount of farming for the durability. Imagine if you have a black blood tool. There we go, black blood pick. Now this does better than the obsidian pick. Here we go. Pop this on. Stick our oil of bounty on it. Let's go hit another rock. So this is the best pick in the game you can get at the moment, which has a ton of durability on it. And actually, you can see the timer on there lasts a lot longer than it does on the obsidian one. So that will probably make it even more worth it sticking it on a better pickaxe. Let's have a look at our trungeons. Or trungeon, iron trungeon. We already have our steel trungeon. That was about three minutes on that one. And then we have the reinforced. That's six minutes of knocking things out. 
So okay, the reinforced one, probably a worth it amount of time to have. Any other trungeon though, I would say for the price, no. <laughs> Get yourself a reinforced trungeon. If you want to use it then, go for it. But I would probably just recommend Agony. It's really nice. It feels really nice. I imagine if you put it on a legendary tool as well, it's going to last really long. Um, on your concussion one, reinforced steel trungeon, no less. That is my recommendation for you. But of course, you're free to do what you would like with these. It, it's just a suggestion. And then you have the oil of bounty. That's pretty good as well. I. I would probably actually make this. Uh, for the balance and the penetration, I I don't really see much point in it, honestly, with what we have provided already in the game. So I probably wouldn't use this. Let me know what you would use these two for if you had a reason to, and why, why you would go and spend that amount. But anyway, I hope you found this guide on the oils helpful. Uh, let me know what you think about the oils and if they're a good asset in the game or not. I always love reading your comments and seeing about different things. So thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.